put it flat so it doesn't roll, then slice it lengthways. It touches the heart, you know, like meeting people that I've known for many years as well, you know, so being able to help them as well as new people within Wolverhampton City is something like, that really does mean a lot to me. Um, and I, I just love, I love my job here and yeah, it's amazing. It's usually just like Caribbean style foods and stuff like that, so we like doing that too. This food is food on a budget and it's quite cheap to do it anyways. That's why we do these, so that you know that you can still make nice food on a budget. It did surprise me at first because obviously when you buy things from a takeaway, you're paying like 40 quid for like a couple of meals whereas you've been paying about 20 quid to get meals and then you can even make some more of them and put it in the freezer. That's perfect, just keep it nice and small, it'll cook down quicker, the smaller the better. Nice and finely diced. How are you getting on, would you like the peeler? What we do is we get local people in, they cook a nice hot meal to take home, learn new skills, opportunity to socialise. It's a way of bringing the community together. Food's always a good reason to um, come along, get people out the house, and get people to work together in a different way. This programme is run by local people. It was their idea. It's, it's really, yeah, really is something for local people to be very proud of indeed. I think it's essential for the area because, um, you know, obviously with the cost of living crisis, a lot of people struggle to be able to cook meals. I think it's amazing, you know, it's re I've worked in a lot of restaurants and I think some of the people that produce the food, it's like a restaurant standard. So yeah, it's, it's not, it's not um, just tinned food, it's fresh meals that people are cooking.